Hey friends, it's me, your pal Kelly Zemnikis. Uh, just issuing a little uh, reminder to anyone watching who might be concerned. We filmed these episodes of It'll Be Fine uh, a few weeks back. So we're, we're practicing safety. I'm practicing safety. No one's been in my kitchen for a bit uh, and I'm sad. Um, but it's, it's for the betterment of us all. Practice your social distancing. Wash your hands. Always, always wash your hands. Um, and uh, be a good neighbor, man. Be, be a good neighbor. Be a good uh, friend uh, to someone you know, to someone you don't know. A lot of people out there right now uh, can't afford groceries. So um, help someone out. Make a meal if you're able. Leave it at their door. You know, do a little... PayPal transfer kind of thing, uh, however means you want to get money to someone. Um, but yeah, just be a good egg. Enjoy the show. And uh, there's going to be new episodes uh, all throughout the month. So enjoy. Hey friends, it's me, your pal Kelly Zemnikis. And gosh, welcome to episode number 21 of It'll Be Fine. Can you see what's on the fridge there? It says shortbread. Uh, we're making actually shortbread bars, but uh, I didn't have enough magnets. Anyway, shortbread bars is on the menu today and Cindy Basha is on her way up and oh my gosh, I love this lady. She is so funny and I'm just, I'm stoked to do some baking with her because I've had a long day and I need some fun and some laughs, darn it. And uh, I'm like 97.4% certain it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. Number 21. Wow. I know. That's a lot of weirdos in your apartment. There's been, <laughs> yeah, lot. not including people on this show. <laughs> Jokes. Uh, I'm your friend Kelly Zemnikas and this is... I'm Cindy Basha. Thanks so much for coming today. Oh my god, no problem. I'm so excited. Also, I'm excited because I recently bought, we, we showed these off in episode 20, but I recently bought fridge magnets. Shortbread. Yeah. We're actually making shortbread bars, but I didn't have enough letters. <laughs> so it's just shortbread. <laughs> I actually bought a pack of letters at Dollarama, and it said letters and numbers. So I was like, ooh, I'll put numbers and letters on my fridge. Uh, there were no numbers <laughs> in the pack. Shortbread. Ass. <laughs> there you go. Shortbread ass. It's like we're from Boston. Shortbread. Shortbread bars. <laughs> <laughs> These bars are wicked. Oh! Yeah. Ass. I'm not good at accents. Ass. Yeah, there's my name sign. I stole from CBC. Hey, um, I, yeah. You stole from CBC? It's a Canadian. This is I paid my taxes, and but I, as I was leaving on my last day at my job, uh, they were like, you can't take that, and I took it. I saw a picture of you with the Canadian Air Force people. Did you? I used to work on Royal What did you do on Air Force? That was my very first job. Uh, I was their uh, production secretary, script coordinator. You were the script coordinator for Air Force. I was, yeah. Oh. Uh, friends, if you don't know about Royal Canadian Air Force, go on Google. Uh, they were a long-running uh, Canadian radio show and TV show, like sketch comedy. Think like SNL kind of stuff. Yeah. You know? uh, but, but yeah, I worked for them. Yeah, four people. There were four. But no, but then there was the other people. You know who I bumped into one time? I bumped into Alan Park. Alan Park. Was this was the show. after? his cancer and yeah. like now he's obsessed with like using CBD as a medical treatment he's I, doing okay yeah he's doing, he's he's doing, doing okay he has a really good like podcast know. called green crush Ooh, check um, that out. but yeah I saw him at a town hall where they were asking the former premier Kathleen Wynn it was like the oh. public would ask her questions yeah and then Alan Pop parks up Al Alan Park pops, pops up, up and I was like I've seen <laughs> that guy yeah and he's like I'm former I was on Air Force and da 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 and then they kept asking her about when the legislation's going to come in to like make pot a, a medical treatment because he yeah. used to force prostate cancer. He did. He was like making he enemas did. out of CBD oil and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, no one knew how to handle the question. <laughs> they were yeah. just like, well, we're happy you don't have cancer. That was all they yeah. got. <laughs> I'm glad he's doing good. But no, he was quite uh, prominent in uh, on Facebook and social media talking about how he treated it himself. And uh, speaking of treats. Treats. Uh, we're going to make some, some shortbread bars <laughs> today. Um, and we're using, we were just saying... Before we started rolling, remember getting these at Christmas at like the grocery store and stuff? Oh my god. It's the best part about doing this show. All of these things I've kept over the years 
I can use these. <laughs> What's the oldest one you think you have? Probably one. Oh, um, uh, oh gosh, from like the eighties, nineties. Because I used to when I was in grade five. I used to come to like birthday parties and swim parties with homemade like apple pies and blueberry crumbles. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, so girl, you can bake. So, yeah, I'm an original foodie. <laughs> wow. Totally. Um, so we are using this Robin Hood book to make some jammy shortbread bars. Um, kind of something like you'd make around Christmas usually. They do look really Christmassy. Yeah. yeah. It's March. Yeah. But whatever. It's Christmas somewhere. What kind of jammer? Are you right. going to tell us about the jammy part of it? Oh my, do I? So in the recipe, they call for a strawberry jam. Um, but the, the good man that is Dan Donnelly, who is today's unofficial sponsor, <laughs> <laughs> he left some of this stuff from his episode. Uh, he ordered this from Austria. That's intense, man. The guy knows how to roll, man. So um, yeah, we are going to be using some apricot spread. From Austria. Oh wait, it's a spread, it's not jam. No, we are, we're going fancy. <gasps> Some rose apricot. Um, you will also need for this episode, because it's shortbread, you're gonna need a lot of butter. Oh, butter, it's like the best. That's the best. Uh, we are using unsalted. Um, this recipe doesn't call for any salt, so I guess if you wanted to use salt, yeah, I don't think we, a lot of times in recipes, I will cheap out or like I just don't care. I'll get the salted one. Yeah, because like so. it's shortbread too. It's, it's a little. There's a, it's not totally sweet, right? Exactly. It's it's got like a richness to it. Yeah. And uh, my cousin Christine, she's like the shortbread queen in the family. She picked up our nanny Lillian's recipe like easy peasy. By nanny, I mean grandmother. Yeah. Let's call her nanny. Um, but Christine can make a shortbread. I have yet not been able to do You've it. You've never made a shortbread? Not as good as hers. Okay. Oh, I see. So I'm coming for you. All right. Brian, I'm coming for you. Um, we also need some Robin Hood all papers. All papers. All papers. All purpose baking flour. It's going to be wicked awesome. <laughs> uh, you need sugar. We're using granulated. The recipe doesn't actually say. Does it indicate what kind of sugar? No. It just says sugar. It just says sugar. So uh, That's how old school this is, though, because there's no, like, brown sugar. Exactly. Not, like, well, not brown sugar, but, like, quinoa <laughs> sugar, agave <laughs> sugar. <laughs> what the heck? And if you want, uh, you can add nuts. Uh, we have some almonds here. Uh, we're, we can chop some nuts. I like nuts. Do you like chopping nuts? I can chop I can. I'll do the work can for we? you, Yeah, We can do it. So uh, that's what you need, guys. Uh, you need a baking, a uh, little baking pan. Oh, that's so tiny! Doing this. They call for one that is 9 by 13. This one is 11 by 7. Should be fine. We just won't have as many shortbreads. Or you'll have a lot more dough to eat. You can is eat shortbread dough. I love yeah, shortbread. I love all of the dough. I know it could <laughs> kill me, but like it's so good. <gasps> that's so good. And uh, some measuring cups. That's all you need. So uh, we're gonna take a quick little break here. We're gonna get ready. Chop some nuts. We're gonna chop nuts and nutty. like whisk butter. Mm. It's gonna be fun. Loves whisking. <laughs> Loves it. And we're gonna do shots of schnapps. Oh yeah, apricot schnapps. I never had apricot schnapps. Thank you, Dan Donnelly. Thanks, Dan Donnelly. Thank you, queer community, for Dan Donnelly and his <laughs> apricot schnapps. Are you from Toronto? I'm from Montreal. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm from oh, Westmount. No way. Quebec. Newfoundland. Oh, whereabouts are you? You know I was in Newfoundland. Yeah, from Cornerbrook. I did. I genuinely didn't know that. Yeah, I have jokes about it, but people think I'm just like making it up because most Canadians assume Newfoundlanders. By the way, if you're not from Canada, Newfoundland's like, uh, it's like Canada's Hawaii or Canada's Guam, I guess, if you look at it. Like, it's like Canada's Guam. Because it's like, it's like, <laughs> we were not. <laughs> License. We should, shouldn't we? It's Canada's Guam. Canada's Guam, except uh, much colder. <laughs> so, Ken, if you've heard awesome. of the play Come From Away, it's based on uh, Newfoundland. Like that's what yeah, it's set in Newfoundland. Gander, Newfoundland. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, because I, I remember I was, I was growing up in, in Newfoundland. Uh, at that point, I moved to St. John's oh, when all the flights okay. were coming yeah, on 9-11. Because yeah. that's the story. Like, all these flights have to get rerouted through another airport, so they go to St. John's. Speaking of 9-11... I have a documentary about 9-11 first responders. That's the mug! Did you work on it? I, it's my doc. I'm co-producer. Oh, wow! Okay. Hopefully well, we get to a festival this year. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh, that's tough. But yeah, so, so you were in Newfoundland. Yeah, I was in Newfoundland growing up, and so I didn't think anything of it, like just taking plane full of strangers because, like, we're, we're also like, what else are you supposed to do if, like, you're what are you supposed to like leave people, people outside? Yeah, yeah. And also, a lot of the guys didn't speak English or didn't know the area. Right. So then, what yeah. are you supposed to do? So like, just be like, oh, like get a hotel, and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I you're in like, Gander, all this stuff. Yeah. yeah, you're in Gander, you're in Saint, because they're just putting people wherever. You know? Yeah. Um, and did so, folks go to like other eastern provinces like New Brunswick or Nova Scotia? Or did they I all think settle the majority, in Newfoundland? I think the majority went to Newfoundland because, wow. um, awesome. yeah, we had the airspace where we had the tarmac right. space, but also it was like the closest because we're the closest to Europe, I think. Yeah. Yes, yes. that the, is yeah. true. Yeah. So they had to put yeah. them somewhere and they were like, whatever, it'll be an adventure for some people. You know, you yeah. can meet people from countries. Yeah. Like, Have you seen the play come from all I haven't seen it, no. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Is it really good? It's amazing. I heard it starts off in a Timmy's, like it starts off at a Tim Hortons. <laughs> it does. It is awesome. Really? You will leave just feeling like people, they're good people yeah. in the world, and it makes you feel good. Um, indeed. Uh, you know what else makes us feel good? Chopping nuts. Mm. We're going to do that. But let's get some schnapps. And uh, so if you want to pour those. And uh, what I'm going to do while we're getting that started, um, we're going to head to the KitchenAid in a hot sec. And uh, put in the butter, which better be at room temperature so you can squish it. And um, you are going to need uh, a cup of sugar, and we're going to get mixing. Are you allowed to use like the brand names of things in this? Oh yeah, I do it all the time. Because one day someone's going to sponsor this show. <laughs> Someday someone will sponsor. Okay. What if maybe Austrian apricot <laughs> schnapps? <laughs> it's going to be great. We're going to pour some uh, pour some things into these guys. I can't believe Dan ordered things from fucking Austria. Dan Donnelly. If you need stuff from Austria, call Dan Donnelly. But that must have been so expensive though, like with the shipping and maybe okay. he has contacts. I know he studied a bunch of languages. He uh, he studied over there. Yeah, see? Yeah. So maybe he has a buddy from there or like yeah. a lover. Right. So I think it's Prost, we say? I believe. Prost? Yeah, I think it's German. Prost. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm sipping. You just tell that. <laughs> is that what you do with a shot? Oh, it's like, it is, but it's so nice. It's just warming. It's like a hug. Are you okay? It's, I... <laughs> 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 I might be... Look at my shirt. It says my, my pen is a, a wine cellar. My friend, uh, Andrew Nicholson. Oh, this is a Facebook status of his, and so he put it on. Are you shirt. serious? Was he giving them out, or was it no? Just I, he made it as a, a Facebook status, and then a few of us were like, "You need to put that on a shirt." Um, so we did. There's all these cute, like if you go to like Indigo, there's all these cute things like, "Oh, I wish I could drink rosé all day and stuff," but it's yeah, like, I don't think that's a good thing. That's the thing. Like if it was any other liquor, if it was like, <laughs> "I want to drink dark rum all day," then it's just like, "Oh, honey, <laughs> you might have a problem." <laughs> I want to drink. I want to drink Budweiser in malt liquor all day. Like, I think they would be like, oof. That's okay, a quite available for the yes. nuts. There we go. Alrighty. <laughs> Enjoying that. I keep saying my nuts. <laughs> my nuts. If you don't know my what I'm know, think my, my nuts. Check it out. We still have balloons up from episode 20. Who was so, episode 20? Uh, Brian Millward. We oh. made some cinnamon buns, and I have one left. <gasps> you made cinnamon buns with Brian Millward? Uh, Brian Millward, sorry. Yeah. They were amazing. Really? Those are a bitch to make some oh, ones. We had so much fun. It had so much fun. Okay, All so right. like... So, uh, Cindy's chopping some nuts. I'm pouring some sugar. <laughs> you gave me such a tiny knife. Do you not trust me with a bigger knife? I have a tiny... Look at this kitchen! That's true, that's true, that's true. I live in a doll's house, you guys. Do. It's cute, but... I live in a doll's house, for crying out loud. Okay, so we're going to take this cup of sugar and the butter and get our butts to the kitchen aid. Nuts, nuts chopped... Your nuts chops. <laughs> I've only had one shot of schnapps. I'm fine. We're fine. I'm we're fine. Uh, at this point in the show, go to your oven, set it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, preheat it because if you don't, you just stick it in a cold oven and then yeah, you let it heat. It's, yeah, it's, yeah it's not, that's not fun. It's bad news bears. Okay, so we've creamed the butter up and now we've added the sugar. We're gonna let them mix together, guys. Can someone else tell me if they've eaten this while they're cooking? Like, if they've eaten just the straight butter sugar? Because no, nobody's consumed the butter sugar. What? 
I, I mean, you can. I've done it many times. <laughs> Amazing. So yeah, guys, just cream that together. Merge. Please someone agree with me so they don't think I'm disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the comments are going to be like, Cindy's What disgusting. the heck? <laughs> I'll just do that. Because there's stuff underneath. That's oh, and there's my tits out. as well, by the way. If you like tits, there's, there's my tits. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> if you don't like tits, my apologies. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Wrong episode to watch. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Let's just... <laughs> So what we are going to do next, do we have the cornstarch ready? Yeah, I yeah. brought, actually, you can keep this little container of cornstarch. So, by the way, uh, we didn't show it in the uh, start of the show, but you do need cornstarch for this episode. And, uh, amazing. Did you bring some from home? Yeah, I brought a bunch because I have way too much corn, so just keep this. Do you bake a lot or cook a lot? Um, cook? I do a bit of cooking. I bought nice. that. I made a souffle on Ooh. Valentine's Day. My man I made a chocolate souffle. And How did it turn out? It turned out pretty good. Um, right. Yeah, it's souffled a lot. Just gonna put these in yeah. here so I can use this. So like it's souffled a lot, and you have to eat it like right away out of the of oven. Of course. Yeah. Do you have to be kind of quiet in the kitchen when you're making a souffle? Because I have that impression you've got to be like very quiet. So no, I'm not. I wasn't because. Um, <laughs> And like, if you ever watch the original Master Chef with Gordon Ramsay and uh, Joe Bastianich, one of the oh, challenges yeah. was making a souffle. And like, Gordon Ramsay is always fucking screaming and yelling. Yes, so I is. don't think that is necessary. Right. I agree. Do you want to know a fun fact about Gordon Ramsay and Hell's Kitchen? Go on. So in Vegas, where they film Hell's Kitchen, uh, it's also got the Hell's Kitchen like actual restaurant you can go to. Yeah. Up uh, where they filmed the show, right outside is where Tupac Shakur's memorial is. Are you serious? So where you see people walking in the restaurant on the other side of the parking lot at the corner is where Pac uh, has got the memorial. Because when he did, when he passed, well, look like when it when the incident happened back in the nineties, supposedly. Yeah. Um, the field where they have the studio for Hell's Kitchen, that's where the original memorial was. And now it's on a pole. If you go to Vegas, find my name, because I signed it. Wow, really? I did. I did. I was there last year. How do you think Pac would feel about that? About... I don't know. I wish he was still alive. He was gorgeous. <laughs> and talented. And gorgeous. Um, anyways. He had really nice, like... He just was, he had a nice body. He had a really nice yeah. body. Pac had, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think he'd be okay with it. Like, it's not like Martha Stewart. Actually, no, because Martha Stewart films a Snoop Dogg now. Yeah. So yeah. I think he'd be cool with, like, I Martha Stewart have. had a show. Um, <laughs> that show's awesome. Show. All right. So uh, with your half cup of cornstarch, um, you are going to add to this, uh, how much flour? We are going to need three and a quarter cups of flour. Oh, wow. These are going to be... I think this will make the... It's going to be good. Yeah, that'll be good. Hey guys, so you're just going to take uh, the flour and the cornstarch and just like do this. With a fork. Do you use a fork, Kelly? Don't use your fingers. I mean, you could. You totally could. Do you want to explain why you need a fork? Oh, I know why. Because I'm awesome. Tell us, Cindy. Well, the reason... <laughs> Tell us. It mixes everything and it breaks up lumps. There we go. I would have sieved it personally. It's my show. Fuck you, Sydney. <laughs> now we're adding the flour to our butter and sugar mixture until well combined. Super fun. Okay, uh, no, it doesn't need any eggs. So if you know one of those people who's like, I'm allergic to eggs. You know what? You can make this vegan by doing like a vegan butter. Like coconut butter or something? You totally could. Or Earth Balance. Is a good one to use. Um, yeah. What about bacon fat? You could. <laughs> it's not in the recipe, but do it. <laughs> we just want to show a shot of that to well combined. I think this is well combined. Yeah. This is pretty darn good. Um, and you're just saying about the bacon fat, that's a Newfoundland thing. Sort of. Like, I think yeah. I, I've heard of people doing it in the United States, like in the South as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. In Guam? <laughs> I don't know what the, I don't actually, it's funny, I talk about Guam. I don't know <laughs> much about Guam. I don't know either. I know um, it's beautiful. I've heard it's beautiful and I've heard it that. It sounds nice. Yeah. It just sounds nice, yeah. It just sounds, it sounds yeah. a lot better weather than Newfoundland. Yeah. <laughs> Newfoundland is like, it's like Ireland, but a lot colder, if that sort of 
Right. Because, yeah. yeah, we get the current coming down from Labrador, and that just freezes everything, and it's... Okay. Mm. So, if you don't mind, um, what we are going to do with this, uh, with this wonderful mixture is set aside a cup, one and a half cups, because that's going to be the shortbread topping oh. we put on the bars afterwards. So, if you don't mind just taking this guy and this guy and putting one and a half cups into another bowl. All right. Yeah. Sweet. And, um... If you want to go grab your pan right now, line it with some parchment paper. Well, we've taken the dough and we've spread it at the bottom of the pan as uh, best we can. Uh, what you've missed is me eating the dough and Kelly getting really This is what's left. It was this tall. Cindy's <laughs> <laughs> just in the bathroom for the rest of the show. <laughs> so what we are going to do now with this um, wonderful base for our shortbread is add uh, two cups of jam. Uh, Dan Donnelly, once again, thank you for sponsoring uh, today's episode by getting jam from Austria. Uh, can't say that when you make shortbread, Dan Donnelly will get you short jam from Austria. <laughs> but who knows? Oh, Dan Donnelly. He's a good guy. All right. So uh, you need one cup of jam and then almonds. We're going to do that and then we're going to add the crumble. And like magic, you're going to see that happen in three Two. You. Almonds on the bottom. That's so brazen. Thanks. Well, let's put some jam on top of that. I'm fucking with a boss now. Just like, I'm going to play with the recipe. <laughs> I'm so afraid to do that, though. To play with the recipe. I just fall into the letter. Baking is a science, but I think I've established in 21 episodes of the show is, fuck it. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. Brought to you by perimenopause. <laughs> when you don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, because if the layer is too thick, it won't cook properly. Yeah. So, Let's just leave it like this. Yeah. So then what we're going to add to the top of this. And do you want to grab the little bowl of the crumble you're eating? <laughs> the other one. The other one. Don't shame me. I'm not. You're I'm crumble shaming me. All right, so yeah, just put the crumble on top of here. It's like we're making a lasagna. <laughs> oh, man. A dessert lasagna. I've made dessert pizza. Now, your fellow's Italian. Has yeah. he ever made a dessert pizza for you? I think he would kill me if I suggested that. They're so good. Actually, oh my God, they're so good. It's pretty much diabetes on a plate, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> what, was, what were the layers? Just like cake? Uh, it's basically a brownie base. Uh, with your, uh, you know, you put your fruit on top as like, you know, your mushroom and your pepperoni, but put like raspberries and strawberries and cut them up like you would a, you would a pepperoni slice and then drizzle it with white chocolate and then put chocolate chips on it. You know what? It's funny. I or toffee and uh, just call your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> or butter. <laughs> or just some liquid fudge. So oh, amazing. I was watching this cooking show with Gordon Ramsay, and it was him and an Italian guy and a French guy. Do you know that show? No, but that's I... just a great name for a show. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, an Italian <laughs> guy and a French guy. <laughs> so <laughs> next on Food Network. <laughs> and then they have sex. Um, <laughs> so oh my god. So they go to the Italian. So like they each go to each other's countries and yeah. see like food. So Do you think we're good? We're fabulous. I, I think, think we're fabulous. And look, there's more dough for Cindy to take home and eat. <laughs> All right. So uh, our oven is all ready. This is what it looks like here, guys. And for 60 to 65 minutes, it's just boob shots right here. What am I doing, guys? What is happening? <laughs> um, so you're going to bake this for 60 to 65 minutes, all depending on your oven. Your oven might need more time. It might need less. It just depends how your oven views the world. by the way again I'm Kelly I'm Cindy yeah. ready oh my gosh I'm so excited are we excited oh dude I wish oh. this had smell of vision look at this the apartment smells so buttery <gasps> <laughs> oh I, I can't even I can't even oh there we go oh um, the apricots oozing out I oh it's it. bubbling it. we're gonna let this cool for for a couple minutes <laughs> um and then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna eat our shortbread i'm so excited can you hear it bubble can you oh, it's soothing it's like 
It's like jazz, late night jazz. Guys, we fucking did it! Look at that. This smells so good. There's so much butter, it's like sliding <sighs> off. I am, I, 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 yeah, let's go. Funny <laughs> shot. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mm. It's hot. We couldn't wait. She's not like throwing up. <laughs> mm. It's hot, but that's good. Wait till this cools down so you don't burn your tongue. We're taking one for the team right now. We put it Holy shit, that's yeah. good. Yeah, because we put it outside, it's like minus five out. It's still chilly. Yeah, it's still, yeah. We thought it would cool it down, sort of like when you put a pie on a windowsill. Yeah. And it did. we couldn't wait. No, we couldn't. This is really good. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. I like the addition of the almonds to it too. Mm. I mean, if you can't do the nut thing, avoid it. Yeah. No problem. It's not the end of the world because the crust is really nice. Um, and the apple, the jam is good actually. The spread is really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dan Donnelly. <laughs> Co Contact Dan Donnelly <laughs> for the apricot spread. He'll hook you up with some Austrian uh, fruit. This is so good. Mm. Once again, we went to Robin Hood um, for their jammy shortbread bars. Uh, so check that out online. Um, oh, thank you for coming by today. Oh my God, no problem. This was awesome oh man and if you make shortbreads like use real butter don't cheap out and use margin because it, yeah. it just makes a huge difference yeah mm. this is really good yeah. oh, my God. oh so just we're just leave us be now we're gonna finish this <laughs> bye guys thanks for bye. watching thanks for watching it was fine it was fine wasn't it what do you mean was fine it was fine like the show oh it yeah it was fine. great we did fine <laughs> what happened what <laughs> were you worried about me ruining it? <laughs> no, just, just name the shows. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, goodness me.